mysterious traveller the strange journal of professor drake january sixteenth nineteen forty four train whistle the mysterious traveller organ up briefly out between whistle whistle train into interior this is a mysterious traveller if I knew to join him on another journey into the realm of the strange and terrifying, I hope you enjoy the trip. That it will thrill you a little and chill you a little. So settle back, get a good grip on your nerves. Where are we going? <laughs> what? That's hard to say. So many of us think we know where we're going. But fate has a way of changing our destination, as in the tale of sharp stab of organ the strange journal professor drake organ <laughs> you see on a bit nervous perhaps it would calm me nerves if i read to you from professor drake's journal there is an extremely interesting entries in it particularly those beginning when you remained november first mysterious traveller November 1st, today, Paul is reaching the final stages of preparation is serum number 14. After two years of intensive work and 13 failures, he believes he's the last on the right trail. Day and night he works, fusing the rest, determined to succeed. Fade a bubbling of talks, class, Paul. Tense. What's the temperature of serum now, father? Father, 86.3, Paul. Paul, anxiously, you mustn't let it drop too fast, father. Shall I apply more heat to Paul? Yes, but be careful. Hold the mouth of the tube away from the flame. Good. Now let me have it. You better enter the temperature in the journal. Father, all right, Paul. Let me see. Sound of writing. Father, serum 14. Move from pressure chamber at 5 p.m. Temperature 122 degrees centigrade. Allow to phone ringing. Father, who can that be? Sound of phone being picked up. Father, hello? Yes, this is the home of Professor Drake. No, this is his father. Reporters? No, I'm sorry, but Professor Drake has nothing to say to the press. No, I can't reveal this experiment. It's engaging. Goodbye. Phone hung up. Doorbell rings. Father, annoyed. Now, there's someone at the door. Those are porters hanging around. Paul, answer it, will you, Father? No matter who it is, I can't see them. But all right, son. A door opened and closed. Doorbell in, but much louder. Father, all right, I'm coming. Door opened. Father, Julia. Julia, oh, hello, Doctor. Where's Paul? I must see him. Father, he can't, Julia. He's in the midst of the experiment. Julia, I can't, haven't seen him or heard from him for two weeks. After all, I am his fiancé. Father Julia, if Paul succeeds in the experiment, you engage him. A go down in history as one of the world's greatest scientists. Julia, but what kind of experiment is it? He hasn't, hasn't heard, held a class at university for two weeks and everyone's wondering what he's working on. Father, I'm sorry, Julia. I can't reveal it even to you. Now you must excuse me. I'm sure Paul will call you the moment he's through. Julia read reluctantly. Well, all right. But tell him I was here. I'll be waiting for his call. Father, impatiently. Yes, Julia. I'll go do that. Goodbye. Julia Fade. Goodbye, doctor. Door closing. Father, softly. I must hurry. Sharon can't be allowed to call too rapidly. Door opening and closing. Father, is everything all right, Paul? Paul engrossed in work. Yes, the temperature is looking down now. At seventy two point five. Prepare five CCs of nitrate solution. Will your father? Father, yes, of course. Paul, that was Julia. Paul, what did she say want? Father, to see you, of course. Paul, I told you a dozen times. The work I'm engaged in is more important than either of us. Is the nitrate solution ready? Father, here you are, Paul. Paul, thanks. Will this be the last step of serum 14? If, when I added this nitrate, the serum turned blue, would it be ready for the use?
Lick we've been what well, lick we've been pulled into another. Father, is not changing colour? Paul takes a moment or two for it to change the colour now. Father, you're right. Slowly that now the remains of the ultimate step test. Use it upon a human being, Paul. Yes, I'm going to test the serum myself. Father, no, Paul. I mean, let me be your guinea pig. It's, if anything goes wrong, a small town doctor myself wouldn't be missed. A great scientist like you would be. Paul, thank you, Father. I can't allow anyone to take it by myself. Will you make the sentries in the journey? I have a pair of 50 cc's of serum. Father, all right, Paul. Paul, my journal must be complete on every step of the experiment. experiment. Writing sound. Father, serum 14 is completed. 8.27 p.m. First ejection of 50 cc achieved by Professor Drake at right in now. Are you ready, Paul? Paul. Yes, Father. You will call in the journal that the first ejection of serum 14 occurred at 8.30 p.m. Sharp and dramatic music. Then eerie. This dearest traveller, that was the first day in the book Professor Drake's strange journal. Here's the entry for November the 3rd. It's morning, three days after the first ejection, serum 14 began to affect the pole. Of the two years of failure, he was succeeded. Paul was astonished. Father astonished. It's amazing, Paul. Try the next wait. Paul, all right. Now wait till I get a good grip of it. Strange, he picks it up. There. Father, you're gaining every hour. Father, oh, yes, he sets down weight. A bit brief, breathless. Are you ready to the results in my journal, Father? Father, oh, yes. Doorbell ringing off. Father, I'll answer it, Paul. Paul, fade. The vet says new people to command again. Tell them I've not got nothing to, I've nothing to say. Father, oh, right. Door opening and closing. Oh, Father, oh, it's you, Julia. Julia, yes, I found the door out the door or not. I took liberty of coming in. Please let me put pass. I want to see Paul. Father, but Paul is busy. He isn't to be disturbed, Julia. Angrily, for the three days I've been calling. The answer's always been the same. He's busy. Well, this time he can't be put. You can't put me off. I see him. Father, but Julia, you can't. Door open, Julia. Well, hello, darling. Paul, what? Hello. Oh, hello, Julia. Julia, you don't seem very happy to see me, Paul. You didn't even kiss me. Paul, oh, oh, I'm sorry. A kiss. Dear the grass. Paul, you squeezed me so tightly. Paul, I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid. I don't know my own strength. Julia. Paul, thing. That's the right on second thought. I really didn't, don't mind. It shows you missed me. Paul, absently. How have you been? Julia, lovely. You look so tired, Paul. Why don't you rest? few days. Jolie, lonely. You look so tired, Paul. Why don't you rest for a few days? Paul, I can't, Julia, until I complete my experiment. Julia, what kind of experiment is that? What? All those weights on the floor. Paul, darling, I can't reveal anything, anything yet. Leave it to you. But when my work is done, uh, it will be the first one to hear about it. Now you must leave, Julia, reluctantly. All right, Paul, I promise you I'll call me from time to time so that I know how you are, Paul. I'll do that. You mustn't worry about me, my dear. You. Goodbye. They kiss Julia. Slight fade. Goodbye, darling. Father, I tried to keep her out, Paul, but she insisted. Paul, that's all right, Father. Let's go back to work. Do you make the entry in the journal? About three hundred pound weight, Paul. Father, yes, Paul. Good. Now try four hundred pounds. Father, be careful, Paul. Paul, you struggled the weight. I will. There, I lifted it off the floor. Let's step the boat down. Phew. Afraid that's my limit. Father, but think of it, Paul. For all you took, sir, and you couldn't lift a two hundred pound weight. But now you'll be able to lift four hundred pounds. Your strength has been doubled. Paul, yes, if I'm right. The sermons can change the future of mankind. Added strength that gives man to be able to resist diseases and it comes to it now. Father, his last will be lengthened for 20, 30 years. Paul, yes, isn't complete, but it isn't completely twisted. We have months, perhaps years, to work ahead of us. And now we've seen the effects of first injection. We try a second. Father, another's 50 cc's? Paul, yes, we'll make a regular of it. 
journal with my preparing. Writing, father, of results of first injection were not noted. Second injection of 50 cc serum taken by Professor Drake at Paul exactly at 8.15 p.m. Sharp and domestic music. Still Trevor, he is yet to remember six. Still 14, and affected beyond Paul's varnished hopes. Results of second injection was fully as remarkable as those of the first. Father happily, think of it, Paul. Today you'll be able to pick up a 600 pound waiting with ease, Paul, vaguely. Yes, 600 pounds. Father, why are you staring at yourself? I mean, so. Paul troubled. I don't know. Father, what does the next step in this parent be? Paul, next step? Father, yes, Paul. Why do you keep looking at yourself in the mirror like that? Paul, isn't Do you notice any change in my head? The contour. Father, why? No, of course not. Paul, I suppose it's just my imagination. You know, my face, the shape of my head, seems to be more changed slightly. Father, nonsense, Paul. I brought you up since you were an infant. Do you think I noticed a change in there? There was one? Paul, yes, of course. It must be my just my imagination. Anonymous music, special traveller. On November 7th, he wrote this morning. I entered the laboratory. Found Paul fast asleep at his desk. Father softly, wake up, Paul, wake up. Paul waking up. What? Oh, I must have fallen asleep at my desk. What time is it, Father? Is it still night? He yawns. Oh, no, it's eight in the morning. Here, rise. I raise the shades. Sound of shade being raised, put over. You should have gone to bed when I... A gasp, Father. No, it cannot be. Paul, what is it, Father? What's wrong? Father, a whisper. Your face. Paul, my face? Suddenly, quick, hand me the mirror. Paul, here. Paul, the grass. No, we're trembling. I was all right last night. About my face changing. It's easy to see this morning. Father, frightened. Paul, what does it mean? Paul, putting himself together. It means I failed. Since notice the way my features are becoming false. Flattered, very right. Tim has tripled my strength. It's caused me to go backwards to what a man was a sit, sit, thousands of years ago. Paul horrified. Paul, you don't mean? Paul, yes, father. Physically, I was slowly changing into an ape. Father, oh no. Paul, we must do something to stop this change. Paul, there's no need to be excited, father. You forget we had a man neutralized the serum. Paired it. Should be an enter from about 314. Father, you mean with injection? Neutralized solution, appearance will revert to normal. Paul, yes, within 24 hours. Father, with a high relief. We have been preparing for ejection. I made an entry to the, into the journal. Paul, good. And after taking his neutralizer, you must take the photographs of this measurement to my face as it is now. I want my journal to be complete. Last detail. Last detail, Father, yes, Paul. Writing. Father, as he writes, Serum 14's failed as noted in Professor Drake's own record. The wipeout effects of that Serum 13, and this is his neutralized solution, was ejected at Paul is at least over 8 17 a.m. Sharp and dramatic music. Mysterious traveller. The entry for November 8th says the horrible cheese. Serum 14 worked on Paul prevented me. Was sleeping last night. At dawn, unable to write, wait for any longer to see, so it's a nebulizer solution. I rose and slipped quietly to the laboratory. My found Paul asleep, his head buried in his arms. Paul over slowly, wake up, Paul, wake up. Paul's all ache, stumbling area. Stunning what? Father, stunned, Paul. Paul, I'm sorry, Father. Be worried for some moment, I didn't know. Didn't you, May, May's whisper? I want to kill you, father. Paul, your face is worse. Father, father, shot, father, Paul, shot, what? Father, look at this mirror. Paul, no, it can't be my face. It can't be. Father, neutralize the solution. It didn't work. Paul, no, it must have been too weak to overcome serum in my body. Quidrus, look at me, father. My face become broad, the features flattened. The bone being prevalent. Notice how thick the hair in my body become. Whisper reverted to the fiddle man. By the means of fiddle man? Paul existed over, existed 50,000 years ago. Paul, yes, I know. The swift pace I'm regressing. Only a week be weak. 
a few days before I reverted to eight. Oh, no, no. Phone ringing, phone picked up. Paul, father, Charlie's trembling. Hello. Uh, it's you, Ju- is it? Oh, it's you, Julie. Paul, Paul Turner, I can't see her. Father, I can't see anyone. Father, I'm sorry, Julia, but Paul is busy. No, Julia, you'll get in touch, you'll get touch as soon as possible. Goodbye. Phone hung up, father. Paul, you must, what are you going to do? Every minute it passes, doctor. Paul, yes. Was good. There's only one way I can save myself. I must find a neutralizer that will stop seven fourteen. Change me into an eight, for it's too late. Mysterious traveller, entry for full November never life. Paul and I have been working twenty four hours without rest, but so far I've been unsuccessful in finding a neutralizer. Hours come and go quickly, and what is frightening, with the passing of hours, Paul changes. Now reverted in the immediate stage between man and eight. To Java man, I find it most impossible to recognize him. Mr. Shrub, November 10th. Paul has been working 48 hours without a rest. In the morning, when I entered the laboratory, he stared in the mirror with a gaze, looked at the face of his eyes, began to assume the appearance of an ape. Father, fade in, Paul. You can't go on this way. You must get some rest. Paul, I can't rest. Every minute is precious. Confused, I lost. Four hours. Paul, if you lost four hours, I don't stand. Paul, while I was working here last night, glanced at the clock to find out it was just four o'clock. The next thing I remember was finding myself in the hall. The clock was just striking seven, frightened. I can't remember. There's four hours. Where was I? Why was I? Where was I? Was it where what I was? What I was doing? Father, Paul, what can that mean? Paul, whisper. It means in the, in the four hours. Was my bed as thick as a man, and I'm telling you, became that of an ape. Father, stunned, no, Paul, it cannot be. Paul, but his father, my skull was shrinking, pressing in my brain. Their spells will occur more and more frequently as the last day, as the days go by, until he pulls himself together. A better begin entering in the journal, changes in me, taking place in the past 24 hours. Father, Rogan, yes, Paul. Paul, no matter what happens, Journal must be complete. Are you ready? Father, yes. Um, Paul, November 10th. The change in my appearance of going to continue. Writing. Paul, I now pass you from the Java man state to the cinnamon family, which apes are apart. Physical dimensions as follows. Weight 250 pounds. Height 5 feet to 5 inches. Chest 52 inches. Expanded. When you completely cover the growth of hair, make it more and more difficult to bear the heat. My clothing. The skin of my face and body is rapidly turning a deep brown, becoming extremely coarse and colorized. If I lean this down, Father, Father, yes, Paul. Paul, my arms are lengthened almost five inches. I find myself walking more and more in stoop banner from my ha- with my hands almost touching the floor. Yet no change in my voice has been noted. Father, ranking, please, Paul. It's more enough of the now. Let's not waste any more time. We must find a new driver that will save you. Father, Paul, Father, my hands. They've lost their dexterity. Can't handle test tubes. Chemicals any longer. You have to do it for me. Father, I have everything you want. I'll do anything you want, want me to. You want want me to, Father. Yeah, we must hurry. There may be no to, no little, There may be so little time left. Shoving around in music, trying to travel. Never at length, he wrote. Never 24 hours has passed. Still no success except for his human speech. Paul is now distinguishable from an ape. Was she not music? Music was she not? Mysterious Traveller, November 12th. Last night, Paul, my slipped back to the mentality of an ape. He suddenly dropped the dust tube and snarled at me. In that moment, he's completely an ape. I spoke to him and bared his teeth. I left the laboratory, locking the door behind me. Early this morning, Paul called me in a middle voice. Resumed our frantic search. Mr. Trevor, November 13th. Last night, while Paul and I in the midst of our search for the advisor, I left the laboratory in order to get some chemicals to serve for the survival room. I can return to the laboratory. Door opening. Father Paul, I have the nitrate compound you wanted. Also, the Paul, Paul, where are you? Paul, that window. It's wide open. You must have gone out the window. But why? I've got to find him. Father calling softly, Paul, it's father. Paul, where are you? Hugging Mike. I have got to find him. He must be some 
some place in the neighborhood. Voice up, Paul. Williams fading. Good evening, Dr. Frank. Father startled. What? Oh, it's you, Professor Williams. I didn't recognize you for a moment. So dark. Williams, I thought I've heard you calling. You're looking for someone? Fell lying. No, I was just getting in a look for a chair. Williams, fine. So am I. Do you mind if I walk a bit with you? Father, of course not. Williams, is anything wrong, Doctor? You keep looking round so nervously. Oh, no, no, nothing wrong. Williams, well, all they're talking about this university these days, the secret experiment Paul was engaged in. Everyone's expecting another great discovery from him. How's he coming along? Off a woman screaming, Father, what was that? Williams, it sounded like a woman screaming down the street. Father, quick, come with me, screaming out. Sound ten men running, Williams, breathes harder. Hard, perhaps we'd better call the police first. Father, there's something on the pavement at the head. Williams is a woman, puts us out. Father, here, give me a hand while I take the her, the girl. Williams, how is she, Father? Father, she's dead. Williams, dead? Father, is murdered. Half the bones in her body have been crushed. Menace, mysterious traveller, entry with a mirthful teeth last night. After the police have questioned me, I turned here to find Paul in the laboratory. In my normal, he could call nothing what happened or where he'd been. I didn't have the courage to tell him. Paul and I had been working for 24 hours. At last, feel he had realised that we're saving. Till it had been developed, well, it had been developed. He's leaving his account room, bent in a back accident from Curran. Today, I was still barred, placed over it. Paul's bedroom windows. Ding, sound of bell, bell. Don't him, doctor. Father, it's you, Julia. Julia, good evening, doctor. Determinedly, I come on to see Paul. Door closing. Father, I'm sorry, Julia, but Paul had been disturbed. Can't be disturbed, he's asleep in his room. Julia, angrily. It's been almost two weeks since I've heard, seen or heard from Paul. Even if he is asleep, I insist on seeing him. Just to know, no, he's all right. Father, I can't understand your anxiety, Julia. I will assure you, Paul is quite well. I have him. I have him call you as soon as he wakes up. Judah, no, Father, Doctor. Don't want to put it off again. I'll go in and see Paul, Father. Fain, frantic. Judah, come back. You can't see him now, Julia. Judah, surprised. Why? You don't. It's locked from the outside. Sounds the door unlocked and quickly open quickly. Father, fade in. Julia, don't go in. His room. Julia and Hebe, the light switch on here. Oh, here it is. Light switch, Father. Julia, you shouldn't have. Julia, why he isn't here? His room is empty, Father. Days, he isn't there here. Julia, shot. Why have your still bars in his windows? Like flayed at this one. Over here, the bars have been bent apart. Oh, yes, you're right. Julia, why were these bars put over the old window? Father, I'm sorry, Julia. I can't tell you. All part of the experiment. Julia, this window. So it's over someone bent the bars to escape. Father, now, Julia, you're just lifting your imagination. When I wave you, Julia, slowly, no, I'm not. No man can obey bend bars as strong as these. That ape, father, fearfully. What ape, Julia? Julia, the one that the police believe crushed the poor girl. Left last night. Father, in about, really, Julia? You think, Julia, oh, you were using him in an experiment? Yes. That's why you put bars on the window. His room is in his cage. May his escape, father. Julia, you're wrong, I assure you. Julia, alarm of foul Paul. Where is he? Did he go after the ape? You answer me. Father, I promised Paul. Wouldn't. I wouldn't tell you about it. Julia, frightened. He's out looking for an ape, isn't he? The ape is a killer. Father, Julia, please, Julia, everything will be all right if you only, Julia, you may be willing to let Paul risk his life on some stupid experiment. But I'm not, Fade, I'm going to kill the police. Father, frantic, no, Julia, don't do that. Come back, come back. Sharp and dramatic music. Announcer. You enter this program to bring you a message from police headquarters. Twenty minutes ago, 
An Edvard girl was found crushed to death. Believed that she was killed by the same mate that murdered Betty Ryan late last night. Our residents are warned to get off the streets and lock themselves in their homes. Police are conducting an intensive search for the an this animal. And it is, uh, it is believed. Radio turned off. Paul. Slightly off. Stunned father. Paul, Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Fade in, father. I heard what he announced. Father, why? Your clothes are gone. Paul, I killed that girl tonight, didn't I? And one last night, too. Horrified whisper. I'm a murderer. Father, Paul, it wasn't your fault. You know what you're doing. Paul, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. Still responsible for the deaths. Paul, Arthur, you mustn't think about it, Paul. Remember the thousand of lives that, other, that your other serums have saved, Father, Paul. Uh, that's why you would had still bars placed over my bedroom windows. Father, frantic Paul, listen to me. Police are looking everywhere for you. You haven't a moment to lose. Your lives are now working. The last lot should be just about ready now, shouldn't it? Paul, bring yourself together. Yes, time is certain. It wipe out the effects of serum 14. Twenty times as powerful as the first neutralizer. Neutralizer created. Father, you must take an an objection. But it's too late. You, you slip into the darkness of an ape. Paul, yes, you're right. Remove the tube of the neutralizer from the question machine. Father, and prepare for 100 cc's of it at once. Father, yes, Paul. He works after we see the injection. How long will it take for you to return to normal? Paul, if I have calculations correct, you shall return to normal in 24 days. Father, hurry, Father. It feels so strange. Father, all right, Paul. It only, it only takes a few more seconds. Pounding a door, Malcolm. Open up here and there. It's the police. Paul, the police. Father, Paul, they come for you, Paul. Quick, Father, neutralizer. Before it's too late, Father, I will have I have to pair the dice to the epidemic. Paul, before I give it the injection, Malcolm I'm muffled. Open up. I'll tell you, we know we have the ape in the house. Paul, hurry, Father, hurry. Malcolm, muffled. All right, your men, break down the door down. Door being smashed. Father, Paul, Father, be too late in a second. Be too late in a second, Father. It's almost ready, Paul. Sound the door being opened with a crash. Paul, terrified. Is it too late? Macron fade in. The ape. There he is, men. But he's talking up. Be careful now. A crash. Sound of crash of grass. Paul goes for the window. Father, Paul, come back. Macron needs to escape. Flash the warning. Every patrol car. Issue Tommy guns to all the men. You always have to shoot and kill, Father. No, don't. Don't let them do that. I can't control him if you don't need to call your men off. I shall bring him back. Malcolm, presumably. Sorry, Doctor. You've, got this. You've done quite enough already. This is a matter for the police now. We're out to kill the ape. Sharp and erratic music. Sight, sound of wind. Malcolm, all right. Men spread out. Got him called on now. Can't escape from the river behind him. Advance cautiously and look carefully round him. Father, please, Chief. You've got to listen to me. If you only let me project this neutralizer into him, it won't be any need for all this, Macron. The answer is still no. That ape will kill you before you knew what had happened. Father, no, he wouldn't. He knows me. Julia has now near stereo. Don't listen to him, thief. That's the ape's killer. Why, Paul hasn't even turned yet. Perhaps the ape has. She begins to weep. Macron, don't you cry, Miss King. We're going to put an end to that ape once and for all. Father, desperate chief. You must listen to me. That ain't, it isn't. Cop, slightly off. Not slightly. Chief, I think I spotted him. Macron, where? Cop, fade in. Over there. On the altar's edge. Macron, yes, you're right. It's the ape. Father, no, it isn't an ape. It's my son, Paul. Malcolm, your son, Paul? I know an ape when I see one. And that's an ape, father. Yes, I know, but he's changing an ape. Neutralizer. We'll bring him back to... Cop, we must be crazy, chief. Malcolm, okay, yeah, okay, Joe. Your shot, so let him have it. Father, no, no, won't let you. I'm coming, Paul, I'm coming. Malcolm, pay us fee, doctor. Come back, come back. Do you hear him? Hold your fire, Joe. Father, fade in, Paul. 
Here I am, it's father. I'm a neutralizer. Pearl, fade you snarling of a night. Father, Pearl, I don't recognize you don't you don't recognize me. I have come to help you back from uh, off. Come away from him, doctor. Snarling at Paul, snarling on Mike. Father, Paul, give me your arm so that I can give you injection. Snarling up, Paul. No, don't. He screams at his, cr- at his crush. Megan, off. Doctor, look out. I scream out. Cop, it's too late, Rodrigo. He's gone. He's done for. Megan, yes, yes. Hard. He's dropped the doctor's body in the hell. Joe, let him have it. Sound of somebody going, going off a blast. Paul snarled like an ape. He hit then in the chest. He moaned, Father, where am I? What's happening? He groans and dies as. Train interior. This is a mysterious travel again. You have enjoyed, have you enjoyed a little trip? What am I going, what am I going to do with the strange journal of Professor Drake? I thought he might carry any on his experiment. I need someone to assist me. As a sort of guinea pig. Perhaps you would like to volunteer. Oh, you're getting off the next stop. I'm oh, sorry. Perhaps you'll join me in it again soon. I take this train train every week. <laughs>